So the next thing I'm going to do is create myself a login form. And to do that, I'm going to jump across to Get Bootstrap and I'm going to take their example login form from Getting Started under Examples. They have the sign in page. This should be good enough for what we want. So I'm just going to take all of that and copy paste it into our application. So I'll need a template for this. So I'm going to go under App, Resources, Views, and I'm going to create a new file under Security, Login, HTML.twig. So much like when we created the support template, we're going to need to be inside the block body and we're also going to need to extend the base. So start off by extending that base and then I'll create the block body as well. And inside here, I'll just paste that sign in form. Now we're going to need to make some tweaks to this, but to begin with, I'll just tidy it up a little bit. In fact, we're going to get rid of the remember me function because we're not going to implement that in this particular instance. But for the moment, that should be good enough to allow us to create a controller to actually display this login form. So go under controller, we'll create a new one called security controller. PHP Storm has such a weird habit of creating my files with the cursor right in the middle of the, the file. I'm not even sure why it does that. Anyway, app bundle, controller is our namespace. And again, that's because we're in source app bundle controller. So we'll just have the class of security controller, which is going to extends controller from the framework bundle. And we'll have a public function which we'll call login action. And we'll set up the root annotation to say root slash login with the name of login. We need to import that annotation, doesn't seem to want to. Okay, so let's start off as easily as possible by rendering that login form. We don't have any variables or data as parameters to pass in. To our template at this point so for now we're just going to pass in an empty array as our second argument so we've got slash login if we go to slash login now let's see what we get okay so that looks a little bit messy but it's on its way so let's tidy that up so at the end of the previous video i had this support index which contained the container the flash messages and so on some styles really that doesn't work in this instance anymore that was just a sort of a naive implementation we probably want to reuse this container and this container styling as well so what I'm going to do is start by creating a, a separate style sheet under CSS. We'll just call it styles.css. Of course, you can call it literally anything you like. And from that index, I'm just going to take out that container style and paste that in there, which means I can go ahead and get rid of all the block style sheets because we don't need that anymore. And then I'm going to put this one level up inside the base. So I'm going to keep that block body. I might as well take all of that out for the moment. Paste that in and then move the block body inside that container and then back inside our index, I can just get rid of all of that because now that's gonna come directly from the base. Now we need to make this styles work. So again, back inside our base, underneath the bootstrap style, I'll just create another link of style sheet with href and we can use the asset function, which is provided by the Symfony framework as part of its available twig extensions. We just need to pass in a path here. And the path in our case is literally just going to be CSS styles CSS. And we'll close off that tag. In fact, as it's going to have nothing inside it, we can just close it off like that. And then let's just give that a refresh. Okay, so it's looking a little bit better. Not brilliant. If you want to, you can, of course, sort of borrow their sign in CSS. I don't really want to go that far with it. So under style CSS, I'm just going to go with a form sign in, which is the class assigned to that form. I'm just going to say a margin of no auto, which is going to center it and a max width of about 400 pixels. Uh, good enough. 